because there are so many people involved with Do the Right Thing. Yes. Because you have two regular pa- captains. Yeah. On top of that, you've got two guests. I yeah. find it difficult to book one guest. You've got like five people involved, yeah. plus producer. Yeah. What, was there anyone else? It's ru- like Do the Right Thing is run a bit like a radio production in the sense that it it is not as easy as a normal podcast. There is a lot of work. So we only put out like six episodes a year. So much work goes into it and it is edited like a radio show and it is booked like a radio show, but with no money. And that's why we don't have, it's not as free as a, a lot of podcasts would actually be. So me and Ben put together everything, script, everything like that. Ben is the producer, so he books the room, he gets all the audio tech together. Um, and so I put in all the jokes and come up with all that sort of stuff. And Michael and Margaret, I'd worked with Margaret loads on different things. She'd been in both my musicals and Margaret had worked with Michael quite a lot. And so Ben was just I, like these people let's get them involved having regular people makes it easier because what we just do is we have the dates and we all know that we're free for them all if we were having to book four guests each time that would be incredibly difficult what were the biggest challenges to getting it off the ground like there weren't any because it was just a knockabout like it was ben had all the audio equipment i knew how to put together a script and we just asked our mates to do it the, the biggest challenge i think was ben editing it because he wanted it to sound good because we would record long and then he'd have to edit it down to however long they end up being we didn't know it was going to become as popular as it did and we weren't certainly weren't thinking let's let's try and have a smash hit podcast what we wanted to do was create something that was fun i think originally with the with the aim of basically saying to radio look it's really easy we've done it and then my radio show got picked up anyway yeah the dilemma which was the sort of counterpoint to do the right thing and we just kept making it but i think we both knew what we were doing because we both had a background in radio comedy yeah that made it a lot easier and because we both work in the comedy industry we could book whoever we wanted really and you had a live audience as well we always had it in front of a live audience which again I'm a stand-up, Ben's produced loads of radio shows, so that wasn't a challenge, really. It was a world that we were both really comfortable in. And then it it picked up a Sony Awards. Yes, it did. For the internet category. Mm -hmm. So it was up against everything in the world ever. It was up against the entire internet. (laughs) And you got bronze. And we got got bronze. We came third out of the internet. (laughs) Thanks for listening. The next episode is listed in the description, along with all the episodes for the Podcast Producers podcast. And if you've reached this far, thank you. Uh, You could send me a little signal with a little thumbs up or subscribe, or maybe even a comment. All of those help me to keep this thing going and I appreciate them all. And I'll see you over on the next episode. Can you please help my daddy get 1,000 subscribers? Just click on his face. Thanks. Bye.